Hi, I'm Liz Trosper and welcome to Art This Week. On this week's episode, we visit the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art and speak with curator Margie Conrads about their exhibition, Art and Appetite, American Painting, Culture and Cuisine. Now for Art This Week. Hi, I'm Liz Trosper and I'm here with Margie Conrads at the Art and Appetite exhibition at the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. Margie, thank you for being with us today. Oh, thanks for coming by, Liz. Um, so tell us a little bit about the exhibition. Why this exhibition and why now? Well, art and food. What could be a better combo? Who doesn't like food? <laughs> we all have a personal relationship with food. And of course, here at the Eamon Carter, we'd like everybody to have a personal relationship with art. But it really, it's um, a wonderful opportunity to think about uh, our individual histories and America's long history with food. The exhibition was actually organized by our colleague Judith Barter, um, head of the American Art Department at the Art Institute of Chicago. And the exhibition has traveled here to Fort Worth. We're the only other museum in the country that will see the exhibition. We're standing here in front of Lily Martin Spencer's work, Shake Hands. Could you tell us a little bit about this piece in particular and how it relates to the show's overall theme? Well, Lily Martin Spencer is a personal favorite of mine. I have so much admiration for her. Um, she was originally from Cincinnati, moved with her family to New York um, to pursue her art. She actually, at the same time, she was a successful artist. She bore 13 children, seven of whom survived to adulthood. So she knew everything about that work-life balance. And um, she, in her paintings, she was thinking about um, etiquette, changing gender roles, equality, and you see that here in Shake Hands, where you see a woman in the kitchen, and whether she's a domestic servant or the lady of the house, it's hard to tell, um, but she's looking right out at us, the viewers, and putting forth her really flowery hand. And it's interesting because in the etiquette manuals of the mid-19th century, which Lily Martin Spencer would have known and the people who were seeing her paintings would have known, um, she could have been pushing some buttons here <laughs> in that um, a woman would offer her hand um, only if she were of the, the higher social status of the individuals who she was asking to shake hands with. And the fact that Lily Martin Spencer had a great sense of humor. And so the fact that she uses that flowery hand and she's looking out directly at the viewer, um, is she being forthright? Is she talking about just um, burgeoning equality issues? Or is she simply just being very hospitable? And she leaves it us to us to figure it out. That's interesting, that's interesting. Well, I really think it's a beautiful work um, and that, inter that, that adds to the context of the show and how these um, issues related to food really touch on sort of broader social, um, social context. So um, that's interesting. So we're standing here in front of the Thompson piece, A Picnic in the Woods of New England. And I wanted to talk a little bit about um, social and political um, issues as they run throughout the works in the show. Can you talk a little bit about this piece and how it relates to, um, to that issue? Well, and you know, this is, a, this is a picture of a picnic from the mid-1850s. And picnics really didn't um, rise in American culture until there was a need to get out of the city and to relax and have some fun because of the stresses and strains of the work life. As America's populations moved from the country to the cities um, and urban living got very busy and tense, I mean, some things don't change too much, <laughs> um, that um, then it was recognized that if you would take time out in the country, it was restorative, it was relaxing, and then you could go back and have a productive work week. So here you see a picnic with um, families, couples, and lots of fun and even crazy things going on for the 1850s, um, <laughs> where you have lots of food, lots of drink, music. You have particularly a variety of um, 
couples who are courting in different ways. You have the more demure, typical couple um, on the left side of the painting, but on the right side of the painting, you see men wearing <laughs> women's hats, women wearing men's hats, people tickling each other um, in a gentle 19th century way. And you have, have something at, such as a woman uh, raising her glass in a toast, uh, looking over at another woman, which was um, for city uh, folk, that would have just been a against all um, etiquette rules. A woman would not be the one to raise a glass and a toast. Okay, so we're here in front of John Sloan's painting and we're sort of charting our way through the changing traditions of food and appetite um, through, the, through our history. So can you tell us a little bit about this work in particular? I think something that we don't think about much is how eating habits have changed in America over time. So we're looking at John Sloan's Reganeski Saturday Night and it is, of course, dinner time. And people are out on a Saturday night having good times. But dinner wasn't always at the evening, you know, dinner was not always the evening meal. Um, when people were working more their own land, the big meal was in the middle of the day. But with the 20th century, the evening meal really became the main meal. Lunch as we know it became lunch. And also that was a time when breakfast became much less formal. And restaurant culture grew up, as did ethnic restaurants. And Sloan's painting tells us about restaurant culture and specifically ethnic restaurants. Before 1900, there are really only two well-known restaurants in America. But then, as the turn of the century, and again, urban culture growing, um, restaurants just exploded. And with immigrant populations, um, we had the birth of ethnic restaurants. First, for the immigrant populations that brought the food to America, but then everybody started to enjoy. And so at a place like Reganeski's, you would see even um, a group of women, and that was something very different, 1912, that young women could go out by themselves without male escorts um, and have a meal together. And I love in the painting how the woman, particularly on the right, she's got her skirt kind of pulled apart and her legs um, shot back. They're just relaxed and having a great time and enjoying um, spaghetti, which became a great favorite of all Americans. So Mar, you were here in front of Norman Rockwell's Freedom From Want piece. And so um, what I'd like to do is if you could talk with us a little bit about the movement towards modernity and food culture um, in our modern age. So can you talk about this piece and as it relates to that theme? Well, it is um, Rockwell's Freedom From Want is showing um, Thanksgiving. And of course, what could be more, the more American meal than Thanksgiving? And um, it shows three, at least three generations of a family with that beautiful brown turkey. In fact, it's said that Norman Rockwell um, used his own family's turkey. And um, so it is that all-American family, that all-American meal. And for a painting created in 1942, which is, of course, during the World War II era, that um, this, in a way, you might think about is what America was trying to preserve. Um, in the war effort. But it's even though you've got that beautiful turkey, it's a fairly modest meal. The plates are yet empty. There's celery, pickles, some jello, uh, probably a little cranberry sauce, and a covered dish and a little fruit, and just water on the table. So it's also a reminder of the sacrifice that Americans were made making during the World War II era. So Margie, we're standing here in front of Edward Hopper's Nighthawks, also from 1942. Tell us a little bit about this piece. Well, Edward Hopper um, was living in New York, and um, in 1942, um, after Pearl Harbor, he was very struck by the impact of the war on New York City. And of course, Hopper is well known for his images of the city that um, almost feel like the air have been sucked out of him. <laughs> and he shows um, sort of the the dystopic side of American society and the disassociation of people in um, a bit busy city world. And so you have here in Nighthawks, and he's referring to uh, the Nighthawks being the people who would be interested in going to those really late hour types of restaurants or 24 hour places and of course the classic one is the diner and even though this isn't a dining car as the really classic diners were this is a, a restaurant where um, 
actually you don't even see any food. You see salt and pepper, a couple of coffee urns, mm -hmm. there are three men and a woman, and there seems to be absolutely no connection among the people. And the lighting is eerie. Of course, it might have been on a night when there is a blackout in New York, but you see the bright lights shining from the diner out onto the city streets. And so it's very eerie and um, you just feel that disconnection of modern 20th century society. In contrast to that, um, we have a motley piece, uh, you have a motley piece here in the exhibition that offers up a slightly different perspective. So can you talk about that piece just a bit? Sure, and it's interesting to think about how um, Nighthawks compares with Norman Rockwell as well as with Archibald Motley's work. We have three paintings all from the same year. And if Rockwell's painting um, is all about preserving family values and Hopper's painting is about disassociation in 20th century society, Archibald Motley, who was an African-American um, from Chicago, who actually saw Nighthawks very soon after it was bought by the Art Institute of Chicago, and he was so inspired by the painting, he went home and painted Nightlife. But they're very different pictures, as you can see. And Nightlife is all about perhaps forgetting about your cares and worries um, of World War II America and going to a dance hall bar and having a really good time. Life. And really? life, <laughs> and really, and that, you know, that life needed to live on, but also that there was that need to forget your cares sometimes. Yeah, very nice. It's a, it's a theme, so we came from the late 1800s to the mid 20th century, and sort of that, that theme continues in the work, so it's very interesting to it see. It does, and remember that it's sort of connecting them all is that there is food in all of them. <laughs> We want to thank Margie for speaking with us. For more information on the exhibition, go to cartermuseum.org. That's it for Art This Week, and thanks for watching. I still got your polar.